Hello and welcome to Shunk USA. I'm here in the Tech Center in Morrisville, North Carolina. My name is Michael Gauntz and today we're going to talk about mostly flexibility around your machine tool. Um, so you can you can see here we've got a collaborative robot on the pedestal and also you see a, a manual vice and this is a pneumatic vice. Uh, below the pneumatic vice is kind of hard to see, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, below the pneumatic vice is a uh, zero point quick change pallet system. And this is what we want to talk about with automation. Um, these days becoming more and more accessible. It, it is accessible to small and medium sized shops across the country, and we're seeing a huge trend. What we're seeing is that people who may not have automated before are realizing that with the new technologies coming out um, and with the new technologies on the market today, it's making it so much easier to automate your machine tool. And I, I like to draw the parallel that, you know, there was a time where people would only buy a machine tool if they had a particular job to run or something like that, um, or if they already had a contract or they were preparing for a contract. Whereas now it's commonplace to buy machine tools in preparation where you're not sure exactly what the work's going to do, what the work's going to be in the future. And you're starting to see the same thing with robots. Uh, and the reason for that is because robots, particularly with the onset of the idea of collaborative robots, um, they're becoming much more easy to implement uh, because they're easier to program. They're a little bit more cost effective to get into. So the investment is becoming lower. There's a lot of technologies that are making the overall barrier to entry uh, much lower. So it's allowing shops across the country to automate. Um, what I want to focus on today is how we can make it easier on the machine tool side. So we're going to talk about the work holding, how you're clamping your parts. Um, not only that, but also how they integrate kind of seamlessly with the robotic side of things. So um, what you can see here, as I mentioned, is we're kind of simulating a machine tool environment. You have your UR robot that could be parked outside of the machine tool. You have your machine table, and on that machine table is a zero point system. So right now you see a pneumatic vice that is locked into the zero point system. Well, as a matter of fact, it's not locked. I've applied, I have this air hose that's connected to the zero point system. And that's what we're gonna talk about today is making your machine tool more flexible so that you can match the flexibility and ease of implementation of the robot. So I have the air hose. I've already plugged that into the clamping device. What that does is it allows me to remove this device very easily and change it out. So I probably should have started the other way around, but I want to show you how easy it can be to change over your work holding. So I'm going to remove this pneumatic vise off of the zero point system. So this is our interface and that's what we're talking about. So I've removed this vise off of the system and you can imagine that the quick change pallet system is essentially just like um, a better version of a T-slot table. So we're all used to mounting your work holding directly to the T-slot table where, and, and this vise has perfect capabilities of doing that with this flange around here, and we have these slots right here on the flange. Um, what many people will do, and I recommend getting started like this, is you get your robot, you get this vise, mount it to the machine table and start going. But there's also a way you can kind of take that to the next level by making this whole thing a very flexible setup so that when you need to change over, it's a matter of minutes rather than uh, 45 minutes to an hour and a half where you're setting up a new fixture or a new work holding device for a new job. So like I said, this can normally mount to T-slots, but what we've done is we've incorporated uh, our clamping pin into the bottom of this flange. You also will see an indexing pin here, and that's what we call our IXB pin. It's basically just a clocking pin. So you have our primary locating pin and then a clocking pin. And when you place this onto the quick change system, just like that, it locates, you can remove the air, plug the air lines in, and now you're ready to automate with the robot, okay? So I wanna talk about a really typical scenario though. 
And that's where we've seen this come up a lot, is we have people who we're working with who they're using a manual vice on their machine table during the day. They have a machinist who's running, you know, more unique, difficult parts, um, maybe one off parts and so on. Um, where they're using the manual vice on the machine table during the day. So the way, so let, let's let's show how this system works. So right now, like I said, I have the air connected to the quick change pallet system. I'm going to remove that <coughs> air. When I remove the air, just leave that right there. It's a really, this connection is a very simple, just quick change connection, quick coupling. Because the quick change pallet system that we're showing here it springs to clamp and it's only air to release. So right now, I remove the air from the machine table and the vice is clamped and we're ready to run some parts. So what I was explaining in my story is that this is becoming very typical for us actually, is um, we have people who are using uh, a quick change pallet system on the machine tool instead of using the T-slots. And so they'll have some sort of manual vice um, or maybe a, a longer dual station vice or a fixed jaw vice, maybe a custom work holding fixture, whatever it is. And they're doing the more difficult parts during the day. And then in the evening, they want to set up their automatic clamping device, put that onto the quick change pallet system, and then hit go and run lights out for unattended for a little while. So let me show you what that looks like. You've got your manual vice on the quick change pallet system during the day. And you want to take this off and switch it out for a pneumatic vise. So we grab the, the airline, we plug it in to the quick change pallet system, and now we can very easily remove this vise. So you see here, this vise has the same interface as the pneumatic vise that I was showing you. So we have the main clamping pin and the indexing pin. So we'll put that here for now, and now we'll take this pneumatic vice, put this pneumatic vice back on here. So this is going to just easily locate just like that. We're located. Remove the air. And now this vice is clamped. So we actually, we've got something integrated here that I, I don't mean to confuse it and add to any complexity here, but this is, this is just taking it one step further from making things easy. But first, let me show you. So I'm going to connect these airlines to this device. So now, what you saw me just do was take the manual vice off of the machine and put a pneumatic vice on the machine. That was a matter of just 30 seconds to a minute. And because we've already told this machine tool and the robot where the vice is, this vice repeats because of this quick change pallet system, the Vero S system that we're showing here, this repeats on location within two tenths or five microns. So we don't need to tell the robot to tell the machine where this vice is anymore. It already knows where it is and it's repeating exactly. So everything knows where it is. Now it can just pick up the job and run. And what we're showing here with this um, with this coupling is this is a really cool innovation. And actually, Charlie's going to talk to you a little bit later this week about this specifically. And he's probably going to show you a pretty cool demo. And the idea here is that normally when you put this pneumatic vice onto the machining center, you've got to figure out how to get these airlines outside the machine, right? Um, so typical kind of way you do that is on a three axis machine, you just have some extra slack in the hoses and they maybe come through the sheet metal and the machine can move around and the hoses have enough slack where the hoses can manage it. And you need to connect this to, your, um, uh, to some sort of solenoid valve that the robot or the machine is telling to open and close. But here we've come up with this really cool device and this, is this isn't connected to anything. This is just bolted to the table and it has these quick couplers right here. These same quick couplers that are on here are also on the gripper. And you'll see when Charlie talks to you about that, how cool that is, because now it's making it even easier. And that's the name of the game when we're talking about automation with lower lot sizes. Things have got to be easy and they've got to be flexible. So in this scenario, when we've bolted this to the machine table, now this gripper, which has this uh, valve pack, on the end of the robot arm. We have one airline coming into the valve pack and then an electrical line in for signaling. So this one airline is feeding four different functions 
It's opening and closing the gripper, but it's also from the robot able to open and close this vise. So that's the kind of ease of implementation and flexibility we're talking about. Primarily today, what I wanted to focus on was the quick change pallet system. That's our Vero S product line. And what that's doing is it's making you extra flexible. So flexibility is key whenever you're talking lower lot sizes because you've got to be able to change over your jobs quickly. And what we talked about here today was just one example of what we see a lot of shops doing is having a manual vice of some sort on their machine during the day and they're setting up their automation in the evening to run for a few hours, five, six hours, lights out. Um, the one last thing I'll add before we wrap it up is that we're showing you here a, a, a single a single pod or a single unit. Um, what I mean by single is there's a single clamping pin with an indexing pin. However, we also we make this system um, in all kinds of different configurations. So instead of just having one clamping pin and an, and an, and an indexing pin, you would have one clamping pin and a second clamping pin like this. So it's not limited just to sizes like this. We make these as a standard in one, two, four, six, and eight configurations. Not only are they um, good for vertical machining centers, uh, they're great for five axis. This is another um, little solution that <laughs> makes implementing automation on a five axis machine super easy. So we apply these not on not even on just mills. We apply these on lathes, VTLs, whatever it is, because anytime you're having a changeover and work holding, this is making that job easy and fast to do. So that's our Vero S quick change pallet system. And I want to thank you for joining us here at our tech center today. So thank you very much and uh, enjoy the show.